Cheeto Santana, did you feel the chemistry that first time that you guys wrestled? Did you know that this was going to be something special? Well, when he had the Intercontinental title, I hadn't even been, cons maybe I was considered, but he hadn't talked to me about taking the belt off Tito yet. I was just a challenger and wrestled him all over the place and uh, in L.A. and a lot in California and Texas and kind of like where there's Spanish and a lot of Mexican people and, and I call everywhere. I wrestled Tito everywhere and I chased him around for a year. And I, I knew right away, God, this guy is, he's like working with a steamboat or, you know, that same caliber where it was just an easy flow. I didn't even hardly, I mean, it was just like, he's a good guy, a respectable guy. And I, you know, I feel like myself, I'm a good guy. I want to be able to work with people. I want to work with everybody or everybody. But Tito is just like, this is, oh my God, this is like a gift from heaven this guy was so easy to work with. And we did that all around for a year before I even knew I was going to take the belt off of him. Actually, Orndorff was in line to take the belt from Tito. And those guys were good friends, too. He was in line to get it, but he had missed some shows. And he had, Tito had that bad leg. And George Scott goes, Vince, he's got a bad leg. He needs to get operated on. And Greg's got that figure four leg lock. So they just shooted me in, broke his leg. And, and then, then he chased me for another year. Then he got the belt back for me. And other than the matches he had to do with Randy Savage and stuff, I was still wrestling him. So it was a three-year run and in tag teams and everything. When me and Brutus got the tag belts, it was him. It was Tito and Rick Martel or Tito and somebody, uh, Steamboat, whoever his partner was coming after us. Was it tough during the whole time that you guys were wrestling to come up with different sequences or different angles in the match to keep it fresh? Well, that's why I don't, that's why I don't do high spots in my matches. Drop down, get it again. It was just, it was a flow. When we wrestled the Bulldogs, me and Brutus, going back to the Dream Team, it was like, these guys would come after you and they wouldn't say, hey, I'm going to slam you or I'm going to do this or that. They just went ahead and did it. And you had to go with it. You don't want to, if you block the, if you block, you know, you can block the slam, but if you do it, then you're going to throw everything off kilter. So it's just a flow. But the heel, which I was all the time, no, it, you you have to know when to cut it off. All right, he slammed me three times now. It's time for me to cut it off and time for this baby face to sell. So the, the heels had to run. They had to run the match. They had to be the leader of the match. And if it didn't, it got all screwed up. If the... Bulldogs, I mean, they used to get in there with beefcake and go way too long on him. And, man, we need to get some heat and take control back. And, and it would piss me off. I said, Brutus, get out of there. And I'd, I'd come in and cut him off. They respected me because they respected Brutus too, but I'd been in the thing, in the game much longer. So they would listen to me. And you got you to gotta listen to the heels. British Bulldogs was great, and and all the singles I have. Tito, me and Tito, I don't think we ever talked really. I mean, I, except ouch, he hit me too hard, you know. So, <laughs> oh my God, Tito, watch out, you know. But it wasn't like grab me and, but I would tell you know grab a hold. That's my whole thing was, grab a hold, and then we can go from there. Because it is wrestling, grab holds. But I used to like to do with Piper and with Tito, and especially Tito and Piper and Ronnie Garvin. We turned into kind of like a boxing match almost, and then wrestling, and get back in a corner, and it's a boxing match again. And the people loved it. You can hear it. I saw this old match the other day of me and Ron Garvin. Jeez, it's like 30 minutes, and I won the match by a fluke, but it was like, 
everything we did, the people were popping on it because it was all believable and it was punches back and forth, chops and well, unbelievable stuff. It surprises me that it was, it was so good. I don't want you know, I don't want to sound like I'm braggadocious, but uh, that was good shit. 